How you guys doing? Woo! I am sloppy. Huh? Trying to get organized. I was watching one of those organizational shows on HGTV. They say when you're going through your house, cleaning and organizing. A rule of thumb is, if you haven't used it in a year, get rid of it. So I'm thinking about having myself castrated. Oh! <laughs> I was about this the other day. If I was a hairstylist and had a rude customer or someone who didn't tip me, I think I'd sweep up all their hair and then sprinkle it at crime scenes. <laughs> getting older now, guys. You get old, you gotta take care of yourself more. You gotta go to the doctor. I've been doing that. He's been telling me what exercise to do and what to eat. Now his office keeps calling me back. He keeps wanting me to return. I think my doctor has a crush on me. And I'm like, really? Let a man stick his finger up your ass once. <laughs> he thinks he owns you. <laughs> I mean, these eye doctors. <laughs> is that better or worse? <laughs> Tell me, is that better now or worse? <laughs> How's that baseball and golf are the two most boring sports to watch? I say, what if they switch the announcers? You had the baseball announcer do golf and the golf announcer do baseball? Well, uh, here's Ken Griffey Jr. up to the plate. Now Griffey's got the 27 ounce of wood. Now there seems to be a slight downward slope between third base and second base. That could be a problem. Now the sun seems to be peeking out of the bleachers as it affects him. Now should Griffey hit a double be 90 feet to first base, dog leg left to second. And here's the pitch. Oh, it's out of that be a home run. And you have the baseball announcer to do golf. Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to the Astros Golf Tournament here in Augusta. That's a beautiful day for golf, and here we are at the first hole. And well, the time of the first hole is a dog leg left. Well, the dog left, but somebody better pick it up. There's Freddy Couples up on the tee. Egg over golfer, egg over golfer, swing! Oh, right in the water. What the hell is he thinking? <laughs> I love horse racing. Love how the owners name their horses. Here comes Follow That Dream. Here comes Lost in the Fog. I wonder if they name their kids the same way. Love them to meet their families. This is my son, Bedwetter. This is my daughter, Gum and Hair. This is Constant Disappointment. Over there in the corner, that's Future Meth Addict. Kids, it's time for school. And cover better. It's Constant Disappointment. Bedwetter, Gum and Hair, and Future Meth Addict. Still in the bathroom. Future Meth Addict. Still in the bathroom, future meth addict. Just coming over a bedroom, it's slutty daughter. She's being ridden by unemployed gas station attendants. Got kicked out of a strip bar for giving the girls counterfeit dollar bills. I told them what's a big deal, the tits are fake. A while ago I got into debt real heavily, had to borrow some money, I saw this ad. You've probably seen it, it said, uh, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Well, three months later, apparently there was a problem. They seemed really surprised I couldn't pay. And I'm like, you knew my history. I'm like, what the hell were you thinking? Loan me money. Then thankfully I got a letter from the other day that said final notice. So I'm just glad that's over. <laughs> I was in line at the grocery store the other day, and I'm in line, a guy behind me is reading the tabloid magazines, the articles. I hear him say, 25 ways to improve your ICWA. I'm like, what? He goes, 25 ways to improve your ICWA. I'm like, dude, that's IQ. <laughs> Feel sorry for gay homeless people. Cause they don't have a closet to come out of. <laughs> well, in Virginia Beach, they live. Uh, they mount cameras on all the traffic lights. So if you, so if, you, uh, so if you crash a light, they'll send you a ticket in the mail with your picture. I fell into this about three weeks ago. I go to the mailbox. I'm like, city of Virginia Beach, ticket. I'm like, Shit. I look at my picture. I'm looking. I'm like, no. And I mailed it back. To I told them no. For a hundred bucks, I want two eight by tens, three five by sevens, and fifteen wallets. I'm gonna get out of here. Last thing, I uh, <laughs> I've never been to a nudist resort, but I wonder what the mentality is at a nudist resort. It's like, wow, I wonder what she would look like in a tight pair of jeans. <laughs> hey, thank you. I'm Bill Russ. Woo!